Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life and it is Tuesday, which means Wednesday is trash day. So I go around the house and make sure that I get out all the trash. This is not trash. This is from a ministry that I am in, which I am now passing along those containers to the next person that's going to take over. Yay! I'm so excited. So this is the desk in my office where I grade papers or sit to look at bills, write in my journal, um, sometimes read. And when I get bored of all that, I just look out the window. <laughs> there hasn't been a lot of going outside lately because it's been so hot, but um, at least I can look out the window and enjoy the sunshine and watch people walking their dogs. And all One that. of the things I had to do also was clean up in my laundry room. Um, we had bought some paper towels and so the package just was sitting right here on the counter um, for a while and it's not going to get put away unless I put it away. And so I put some of them over there and then we had a couple of vases that were up there that were on the counter. So I put those away as well. I just cleaned off the counters, put everything away, watered the plant which is on its last leg, but it's still holding on. So I just wiped everything down, wiped the counters down, wiped um, all of this down, and then I put in a load of laundry. And so I think that just needs a little bit more. I'm gonna turn that back on in just a minute, and then I put another load in. And everything in here are all my dresses, so I need to take those out and hang those up. So I'll be doing that. I also came in the bathroom, cleaned off the sinks, so that's done. And then came over here, the dining room table was facing the other direction, going long ways, and I was tired of that. And so I took off the tablecloth that was on there, not sure what tablecloth I'm going to put on next, and then moved that the other direction, which leaves one chair over there. That Those bins right there are all the stuff for the kids, you know, for summer to keep them busy so they don't have to be on screens and all that kind of craziness. Last week, this Roku, which is set to go off every morning at nine o'clock and, you know, just clean, vacuum the downstairs over here, um, it got stuck. I don't know what happened, but it just stopped, just stopped where it was. And so I had to have Raleigh um, put it back on the charger. And so now I guess it's fine now. Okay, so cleaning is done. It is almost eight o'clock. Raleigh and I have eaten dinner and now I'm in my craft room because guys, I'm going to be on the go again. I'm headed back to Denver tomorrow and then we are leaving to go on Thursday on our next adventure. Let's come back and see where we're going. Um, look at, have you guys seen my banner up there? Bon voyage. That's what Marianne made me. Isn't it just so adorable? And so um, I was thinking the other day when I did a video um, I didn't point that out or I don't know if I even had the camera kind of settled to where um, you could see it so I really want that to be in every one of my videos it's so beautiful and thank you to Marianne at Marianne's Craft Corner for blessing me with that so Tea Tuesday is an open collab hosted by our sweet friend Patty at Life with Patty and Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things of course I'm drinking water water and iced tea those are the two main things. And today Raleigh came home from work and he said, gosh, I just haven't really been able to, um, you know, I've just been thirsty all day. I've just been drinking, drinking, drinking. Well, if you get that far into your, to being so thirsty, you know you've gone too far and too long with um, being dehydrated. So you need to keep drinking, even if you're not thirsty, keep drinking in this heat. So anyways, 107 today. And um, guys, guess what? Over the weekend, it was so fun. Raleigh and I and Zoe and Killian went up to Yuba City. I don't remember if I've ever been specifically to Yuba City. I think we've, I'm pretty sure we've been through Yuba City at some point. Um, but we had a fabulous meetup with some crafty friends. Patty, Life with Patty, our um, illustrious hostess for Tea Tuesday. And then also Martha at Martha Makes Art. Carol at Crinkled Path. 
Joyce, Mrs. Peach, Thrifty Living. So there were five of us all together. There was supposed to be another person, but um, she couldn't come. But guys, we had such a wonderful time. Oh my gosh, we met at the Olive Garden and um, we met at about 11.30. And of course, you know, the kids get up early on Saturday. So we went ahead and managed to make it to Target and make it to Hobby Lobby to do a little bit of shopping beforehand. So I have just a few things. I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, I bought some fabulous ribbon at Hobby Lobby though. Um, but I do have, all that will be a separate video that I'll post probably um, on Wednesday, Thursday, I don't know, in the next coming upcoming days. It was so wonderful to meet up with, um, with all of the ladies and as I've said before, as you've probably heard other YouTubers say, that meet up with YouTube friends. It's so wonderful because we see each other on video and sometimes we text each other if we're to that point or maybe on Instagram message each other or email each other. Um, and so we, you know, we've gotten to know each other through their videos and um, through other, those other means of communication, Facebook possibly, um, but to be in their presence and to be able to talk to them and um, it's just, it was amazing. And it it was like, you know, we just known each other, you know, for so long. And as you can imagine, um, we have so much in common. So we talked a lot about our families, grandchildren, um, you know, our children and what we like to do when we're not crafting. And um, so that is just so wonderful. And then, of course, we talked a lot about crafting and shopping and it was just it was just really fun. So I'm just feeling really blessed that I got to meet up with um, four wonderful friends. I'm looking forward to um, being able to get together again with everyone. Um, so they're talking about an October meetup and so that's a little bit tricky for me, but we'll see um, if I can be there because once football season starts, Fresno State football, then um, we're really busy. <laughs> so, um, but we'll see if that weekend can work in October because I would love um, to go up there. So that would be wonderful. This time we probably won't take the kids. Raleigh and I will probably just just go up um, because you know I would have really liked to have stayed longer or maybe said oh you guys want to go shopping or something but um, the kids were back at the room with Raleigh and um, oh and when they came to pick me up from the restaurant because Raleigh had dropped me off then Raleigh and the kids came in so they got to meet Zoe and Killian so I don't know that was just kind of fun too and then um, they were talking about it later Zoe said when I was showing her the gifties and I'm going to be I'm pointing over here because here are all the little gifties that uh, of course we exchanged gifts I'm going to show them all to you um, and later on I was I went back to the room and I was taking them out and admiring everything and looking at everything and Zoe Zoe was just was so excited and she said Lily you have such nice friends and I said yes I do <laughs> so thank you ladies for meeting up and um, like Patty said if you watched Patty's video that talked about our meetup if you um if you live in the area and you would like to join us, um, we'll definitely put out that note and let you know when we're meeting up because um, that would be wonderful to meet more um, friends, more YouTube friends, and the more the merrier. So that would be great. Okay, so let me show you what um, we gave um, each so other. So first let me show you this bag. Look at how pretty that is. And this is from Martha at Martha Makes Art. And Martha is a beautiful, beautiful, um, painter and creator she is just amazing she does amazing um, projects and so she gave us this um, pokey tool and I guess it's like a letter opener it's a letter opener and it's beautiful and then also this pen this beaded pen and beaded um, letter opener and this is wonderful because of course when we're opening up you know happy mail or other things oftentimes um, I'll bring like maybe our mail in here to open that up so I have envelopes, we have envelopes to open up, and then um, a beautiful pen. So thank you, Martha. And then of course, and then she gave us a little extra lead also in this fun bag. Um, so, and of course, if you're not already friends with any of these friends, then I'll leave their links down below. Definitely go over and visit their channel soon. So then, and then, oh, okay. So then the next thing was um, this bag. How cute this is. This is from Joyce as, at Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. And um, 
every one of these friends i'm telling you guys in person is just the sweetest if you know joyce's channel you know that she just has such an eclectic channel she's so creative um look at this first piece of ephemera it says um, do small things with great love and then she has um, typed out and glued on her um, channel at, at mrs peach thrifty living what a great idea just something so simple and i'm gonna have to steal that idea i already told her that and then she made the these little dolls look at how cute this is and all the dolls before we chose which one we wanted she told us their name so I have Miss Marvelous Mango look at how cute she is oh my gosh Zoe played with her for a while um, when I took her back to the hotel room so that is so something that is just so sweet and then also um, I got a green tea face mask which I will, I'm gonna be taking with me on vacation this week because I will definitely need that. So thank you, Joyce. That was so beautiful, so sweet. And then this whole bag, look at this, came from Carol at Twinkle Path. And if you don't know Carol, definitely go over it to be inspired. And um, you know, when we were talking, Carol and I, well, I mean, we all have lots of things in common, but, you know, Carol is retired working in, after working in schools, and um, she has a grandchild that she takes care of at home as well now, the grandma, and so um, that is just so fun. So we had definitely had a lot to talk about. So um, she gave us a postcard. So Carol um, does a lot of memory keeping and, and scrapbooking, and so she gave us lots of goodies that we could use in our own junk journaling and scrapbooking so she gave us a postcard she gave us this beautiful I would have never thought to use this in one of my journals but she gave us this beautiful braille paper I am just so excited to look you know in the next time I go to a book sale or to a um, to, you know to an estate sale um, you know look for some more braille paper this is beautiful so that is wonderful and then I have never seen this before. Here's the lid, I'm just taking the lid off. I've never seen this piano paper. It's um, like a, you know, from a, a piano that plays music. And so this is, can you see that? The lines for the piano paper. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh. So um, Carol said that she does go to uh, estate sales and that's where she's able to find um, lots of these treasures. So, And then the last thing was this bag of goodies that looks like this. And in this bag of goodies, we were all marveling at the S&H stamps, so that's pretty cool. And then she gave us a couple of tags, or a few tags. Actually, there's like four tags in there. And then um, look at how cute this is. It's on a little paper clip and little spools, and it's washi tape. So definitely some ideas for um, sharing Happy Meal as well, um, some flat mail ideas. And this little um, paper clip strawberry has a little magnet on the back, so that's a really fun idea. And then she gave us just some different ephemera. Look at that little card. So, and these are playing cards, beautiful playing cards. And I've seen playing cards before um, at different yard sales and never thought to pick them up, but you know, they can be just so pretty. So I think when I go on vacation next week, I'm going to pick up some, um, you know, where they always sell all the gifts that tourists can buy. There's always playing cards there. And I never thought to pick them up. So I'm going to start doing that, Carol. Thank you. And then some other little goodies like that. So thank you, Carol, for all the wonderful goodies that you shared. And then the last bag of goodies came, looks like this, and this was from Patty. And if you didn't already know this, Patty loves collecting napkins and has lots of napkins. Patty has shared napkins with me probably, I think two or three times. Um, she has shared different napkins and you know, you can use um, napkins galore in collaging, in journals, and so many different places. You can put them on ATC cards. Um, so many th different things that you can do with napkins. So. So, beautiful napkins so thank you Patty and then oh my gosh this is beautiful Patty made this you can't I don't think you oh there you go you can kind of see how that's layered up one two three four five butterflies 
that's beautiful and so it's the paper is shimmery but you can see that and then she made some round embellishments that look like this like clusters so pretty this is just really pretty this is really pretty um i don't have a butterfly but you've inspired me to get a nesting um, butterfly dye this is really beautiful um, to use as an um an ephemera piece of ephemera on um, on any project and then here's another piece of ephemera she gave little die cuts that are so pretty and then of course of course she had to bring us tea <laughs> so this one this is chamomile mango chamomile mango bigelow tea right and then the very last thing that's in the bag that's kind of in the bag not really in the bag but um it was it was a bag of chocolate peanuts but uh yeah i ate half of the bag on the way home and then half of the bag um today <laughs> earlier and they were delicious. Chocolate covered peanuts are one of my faves. So the last thing I'll share today um, is what I gave. And I have a bag of goodies, one of each of these things that we're gonna send to um, our friend that um, couldn't join us. So I went to Seize Candy and I knew that I wanted to get um, these little pops from Seize. So I knew I was going to get this and I wasn't sure. Um, but then when I went in, I saw these bags because it was right before 4th of July. So I thought, oh, that's perfect. So I bought the bags at Seas and I bought these at Seas. And then when we went to Hobby Lobby right before the meetup, um, you know, all of their 4th of July was on sale for 60% off. So I picked up these little wooden, um, it says God Bless America on them, a little wooden decor. And then also, I put in a card that I've made um, for each person and then inside the card I paper clipped in just some little stickers and I wrote them a little note. I gave them each an organza bag that has a rosary in it that is uh, my daughter-in-law makes these. It's a corded um, rosary bracelet. I gave them each an ATC card that I shared um, already for deck the year and um, then I just made this little ephemera holder and put some other little pieces of ephemera in there with them with just some little st scatters there. And then I actually, you know, I'm always listening in my head, you know, Veronica, um, Christy's Crazy Crafty Life is always in my head and creating with Jovi about making tassels, right? Tassels, tassels. And I thought, Kim, you've got to make a tassel to go on that bag. And so um, this is just a bandana. You know, Dollar Tree had, um, it was a two pack of bandanas. And so I just ripped it up. I just ripped it up. <laughs> and then I already have um, pom poms. I love to make pom poms. So I already had pom poms made and then just put some twine on it. was so wonderful receiving goodies from our friends, um, just learning about each other, talking to each other, and um, spending time with YouTube friends. It was super fun. So thank you, ladies. Thank you, Carol and Martha and Joyce and Patty for making the effort to getting us for, and getting us together. Joyce was so instrumental and she got us on a group text and we were going and making sure and keeping up and that was wonderful. So I appreciate all of that. And, um, Okay, if you're still here in the video, because I know it's a lot longer than I usually do, I'm going to have a giveaway, a hidden giveaway, um, and all you have to do is leave me a fun comment with the hashtag friendship, and what's today? Today is Tuesday, so let's say by Friday, mm, let's give it till maybe uh, next Tuesday, and uh, give it a week, and then I will um, choose a winner, and let's see, what am I going to give you? I'm going to give you something crafty for my craft room. Um, and then maybe either some cold hard cash <laughs> and, or uh, my gift cards. All right, does that sound fun? All right, leave me a comment, hashtag friendship, and thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.